I have recently done a video about the time in my life where I was feeling stuck, tired and demotivated. If you are someone who is also feeling a little lost in life, you feel that things are stagnant and unmoving, like you are not progressing towards any of your life goals, I want to remind you that it's perfectly normal to feel like that and that it's okay. The important part is to take action whenever you feel like things aren't going the right way or when they are not going anywhere at all. I have slowly slowly incorporated these 5 small habits into my life and I am feeling so much more calmer, focused and motivated to live life than ever before. And I hope that these small habits also have the power to change your life around as well. Habit number one, write down three things you are grateful for. Have you ever experienced anything significant that you wanted to remember but didn't because you didn't write it down and as a result, you entirely forgot about it? You can't rely on your memory to remember every significant detail of your life at any given time. Time passes and you may forget some of the most important details or things to be grateful for. Keeping a gratitude journal will help you cultivate thankfulness and allow you to reflect on what has happened in your life, which will help you adjust your perspective. According to studies, cultivating thankfulness can help you sleep better at night, reduce stress and improve interpersonal connections. Keeping a gratitude diary and writing down three things you are grateful for every day will make a huge difference in your life by bringing about a positive change. Habit number two, every day try your best to at least clean for 10 minutes. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the thought of cleaning your house or room due to the amount of time it will take? To avoid feeling overwhelmed, break down your duties into smaller chunks to make them feel more reasonable and achievable. 10 minutes is a reasonable amount of time to commit to cleaning. It gives you confidence that you can do it and allows you to do something minor. If your home feels too huge to clean everything at once, try folding and hanging your clothing first, then moving on and returning to your room to vacuum and mop for 10 minutes. Start with one room at a time, such as doing dishes in the kitchen or straightening up the couch in the living room. If you can get anything small done in 10 minutes, you'll be that much more closer to finishing everything on time. Habit number three, when you are concerned about your dry skin in the winter or have a nasty breakout, does your confidence suffer? Believe it or not, the way your skin appears and feels has a direct correlation with how you are feeling. According to dermatologist and clinical psychologist Richard G. Fried, inflamed skin, thinning hair and brittle nails might be physical symptoms of your emotional state. These undesired Physical changes can have a detrimental effect on your mood. This will aggravate your skin, hair and nails, resulting in a vicious cycle. One of the key reasons why skin care is so important is that it contributes to a strong emotional state, high levels of confidence and a strong and optimistic attitude on life. Habit number four, implement the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 concept was first observed in the 1800s by an economist named Wilfredo Pareto, who noted that 20% of the population owned 80% of the land in his home country. This principle still holds true nearly 200 years later and can be applied to a variety of topics including business and athletics. Would you like to know if and how you can apply this theory to your life? It has been discovered that only 20% of your work will account for 80% of your success. This indicates that 80% of your efforts will be insignificant or irrelevant to your achievement. 
The biggest benefit of implementing the 80-20 rule to your life is that you have discovered that just 20% of the things you do result in success. Making a to-do list with your most critical chores at the top and the least important at the bottom is an easy approach to find the 20%. Finally, cross out 80% of your chores from the bottom, leaving you with only the top 20%. By focusing all of your efforts on the tasks that will genuinely bring success, you will increase your productivity and efficiency. Habit number five, establish everyday practices that are helpful. Do you ever feel tired and unmotivated when you wake up in the morning? This could be an indicator that your everyday routines aren't functioning properly or successfully for you. Morning and evening routines are two different types of daily routines. An effective morning routine should stimulate your body and mind while providing you with a boost of energy and inspiration. Of course, everyone has their own daily routine, so you'll have to figure out what works best for you. In the morning, you could make your bed, read the news, go for an early jog or workout, or listen to a podcast while getting ready for the day. Let's talk about a good nighttime routine now. The main goal of your evening routine is to relax your body and mind after a long day at work or school while also gradually getting you ready for bed. If you want to alter your life by applying these habits, you should do activities you enjoy and indulge in quiet pastimes like reading, writing or watching a relaxing TV show during this time. It's crucial to remember that habits are difficult to form and require time to put into practice. Focus on applying them one at a time without hurrying things and you'll see that your daily life is gradually improving. If you found this video useful, please like and share it with someone who might benefit from it as well. The research and references used are provided in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.